Do you know how much voltage can a string solar system carry? While the voltage of individual modules is not that high. When many modules are connected in series, the voltage can be as high as 300 voltage to 1500 voltage. In the event of a fire, such high DC voltages can be very dangerous for anyone nearby, especially for firefighters. That is why rapid shutdown is needed. Hoy Miles Rapid Shutdown System can quickly reduce the DC voltage of the solar system by simply disconnecting the AC power of the transmitter or activating an external initiator, thus realizing module level shutdown. This makes sure that firefighters are safe when putting out fires. So how does it work? Hoy Miles Rapid Shutdown System is composed of Rapid Shutdown Devices, HRSD, 1C or 2C, transmitter HT10, and a string inverter. When the system is powered on, the transmitter HT10 sends a permission to operate signal HRSD to make PV modules connected in series and then connect to string inverter, thus producing power. Once the transmitter is disconnected or an external initiator is activated, the transmitter stops sending the signal and the rapid shutdown cuts off the connection of PV modules on the DC side within 30 seconds. This video will tell you how to install HRSD to C and HD10 kit in your PV system to make your system rapid shutdown compliant. Please refer to the user manual for more information. Before we start, make sure that the PV system is powered off. And please note that only trained and professional technicians are allowed to perform the installation. We will be using DC cables, waterproof plugs, large slotted screwdriver, small slotted screwdriver, M6 screws, hole saw, electric drill, multimeter, spirit level, HRSD to C and HD10 kit. Now, we're ready to install HRSD to C. We can see that the connectors on the left and the right are outputs, and four connectors at the bottom are all inputs. First, install the HRSD to C on the frame of the PV module with mounting brackets. You should allow a minimum of 1.5 cm of space between the roof and the rapid shutdown to ensure ventilation and heat dissipation. Then. Connect the rapid shutdown input with the module. Next, connect the output of two adjacent HRSDs together until all the devices are connected to each other. Now, all the HRSDs are connected, and we can start to install the transmitter. The HT10 kit comes with the box and two keys. Open the box with the key and check if any items are missing. There should be a quick installation guide, a drawing template shield, a piece of rapid shutdown label, and other accessories including two clamps, three screws, DC leads, a power supply, a transmitter HT10, two cores, a DIN rail, four mounting lugs, and oval head screws. Take out the accessories and decide how many holes are needed according to the number of cables and cores. Then drill holes on the both sides of the enclosure using the drilling template. Next, install the waterproof plugs to ensure the safety of the box. Now, Fix the mounting lugs with oval head screws at the four corners of the box. Make sure that the mounting lugs are firmly fixed. Next, fix the DIN rail onto the back of the enclosure with screws. Please note that installing the rail to high can cause difficulties to the wiring of the power supply, and installing it too low can obstruct the wires passing through the hole. Then mount the transmitter, HD10 and power supply on the DIN rail. Fix the clamps at both ends of the rail.
Then connect DC leads from power supply to HD10. Insert the cores into the bottom of the transmitter until you hear a click. Now, the assembly of HD10 kit is complete, and let's install it on the wall. Mark the installation location according to local regulations, then mount the box on the wall with them 6 screws. Pass either all the positive home runs or the negative home runs through cores inside the box. Then run the wires through the box to the inverter. Connect the AC input of the power supply to the grid to complete the rapid shutdown installation. Please use a separate circuit breaker or emergency stop switch as required by local codes and affix the rapid shutdown label to anywhere within 1 meter from the transmitter or the initiator. Now, we can measure the voltage of the PV system to check if the rapid shutdown system is securely installed. Since each HRSD to C output measures about 1 volt when there is no permission to operate signal, the voltage of the series circuit at this point should be 1 volt multiplying the number of HRSD to C. Finally, before turning the transmitter on, make sure that the DC circuit has been properly connected to the inverter. When the transmitter is energized, the power supply LED1 should be on and the signal LED2 should be flashing. In case of emergency, disconnect the AC power of the transmitter or activate an external initiator and the PV system would enter module level rapid shutdown mode. That's all for this episode. Thanks for joining us.